Hi, this is Dan at Dandy's Farms. For the first time, bringing you some sponsored content. This is my new Nehe Max 4. Uh, it's a huge laser cutter engraver. It uses a diode laser, which means it's not quite as strong as a CO2 laser, but it does great for any cutting engraving that I really want to do. This laser was sent to me to do a review, and overall, I really like it. Uh, it's fast. It has a new linear rail along the top so that it can slide really smoothly from side to side. However, setting up was a little tricky. Some of the directions were a little confusing, and uh, I'm having a little trouble getting the Z-axis moving correctly in Lightburn. However, aside from that, it is a great product that I'm really liking. I actually upgraded this laser from my old Nehe 2S Max. Uh, so I've been happy with Nehe for a long time. I found that it's great cutting and engraving power for the money. So far, I've made some fun signs. This is for our Instagram brand as well as a sign from a craft fair to let people know about our brand and to make some signs for other people uh, and other brands. This is a test cut on solid maple. And you can see how well it cuts uh, with its engraving all the way up to uh, 18,000 millimeters per minute. One of the best parts about this laser is using the motorized Z axis. It really helps figuring out the focus of your parts and saves you a lot of time. I also like these front mounted belt tensioners. My old laser did not have these. There's also an M7 and M8 connection for relays. I plan to use these in the future for my air assist and my exhaust fan. Here I'm doing a sample cut. I'm cutting out a Christmas ornament that has some fairly complex internal cuts that need to happen. I've set it to make each cut initially and then move half a millimeter down for the second and third pass. This ensures a very clean through cut. Overall, this laser burns about four to five times faster than my previous laser, and I'm really impressed with the results. I have found that using the laser in an enclosure is great, especially with an exhaust fan. Here I have it open just for demonstration. The snowflake is finished and the pieces fall out, except for a couple that needed some slight pushing. Uh, the cuts turned out great and the accuracy was excellent. Overall, I would recommend this laser engraver cutter. It does have some quirks that take getting used to, but for the price, it's excellent. Any laser with a similar work area and laser power size is going to be a lot more expensive. So it takes a little bit of time to learn, but I would highly recommend it.